Okay, today we're going to show off the new model for 2016 for vapor honing technologies. It's called the VH800P. This machine, from a size perspective, falls right in between the 750 series and the 1000 series. The dimensions, real quick, 33 inches wide, 30 inches deep, and 25 inches high, and that's your work area. The machine sits right now overall about 60, 65 inches high to the roof. Of course, with the exhaust um, stack on the back, it's going to be about 70, 75 inches. Um, the machine uses the same components, the same pumping systems, the same electrical setup, and um, so it is going to work identical. Uh, what we're able to do here is offer a very rugged and durable molded enclosure. It's a single piece unit, um, so there is no leaking, there is no rust, and the wall thickness is a quarter of an inch thick. So you can imagine how strong and how durable that machine is. Uh, it's really incredible at, at what it's able to accomplish for us. And so when you purchase this machine, it's literally going to be a lifelong product for you as long as you maintain it correctly. And so you know what we're going to do today is we're going to give you a quick walk around and so really to start out something that we really like is you're going to notice that we have the optional caster kit locking caster kit on this machine this gives you the ability to move the product around your shop a lot of times people like to set this machine up in some really tight spaces well, what that's going to mean is um, it's going to be hard to service the machine it's going to be hard to clean it out when the time comes so this gives you the ability to move the machine really quickly and very easily. Um, the machine itself is about 200, 200 pounds, 210 pounds. Um, once you add about 25 gallons of water, you can imagine how heavy it becomes at that point. So this really gives you the ability to move it very quickly and easily. Um, next thing you're going to see is the, the standard features that we have. Um, a stainless steel right hand side loading door and a fabricated metal base and also a window rinse bar setup which is automatic. It's timed automatically so that uh, while you're blasting your parts it sprays the window for you and keeps things nice and clean and visible so you can see what you're doing. Um, another standard feature is the internal rinse down gun. So you can rinse your parts off um, you know when it's winter time and it's 20 degrees or below outside you don't have to splash water on yourself. You can be protected from the machine, rinse your parts off, and also eliminate media loss at the same time, which that's very important. As most of you know, you're going to need to be at about 15 to 20 percent ratio of abrasive to water, and that's really the sweet spot for where you need to be to, to get your work done. Um, another thing, all of your service connections are going to be on the left hand side of the machine, so your air, main air coming in here, um, you do have a regulator which regulates the setup so you don't have to regulate your shop air. You can keep it at you know, your normal setting. On the side at your electrical box you have your 110 power outlet or optional 220 if you need 220. Uh, whatever's available in your shop is, is perfectly fine for, for what we do here. We can always adjust and do either 110 or 220. Um, you're going to notice there are three valves on the side. You have an inch and a half valve on the bottom for main discharge when you're going to clean the machine out. And you're going to take the abrasive, old spent abrasive out and, and put fresh in. Then you have a valve right above there uh, which is to drain the water off of the machine. If your abrasive is still good, your water is contaminated and dirty, you need to drain the water, just use that valve, dump the water off. It's going to keep your abrasive in the machine and then you can refill with fresh water. The next valve on the top of the hopper is what we call an overflow valve. Um, this eliminates excess, med or excess water rise in the machine. So right now we're adding fresh water for window rinse, which is a very small amount of water. And on the back, of course, your rinse down gun, that's where the most of your water is going to come from. But as you know, it's, it's fresh water, it's coming in, you're adding it to the machine. The level is rising while you're using the machine, well at a specified time it will eliminate any water level change in the machine and equalize it back to where it needs to be. Moving on to the back of the machine, we're going to show you the fresh water uh, hookup and this will have a standard garden hose connection fitting on the back. 
What this uh, freshwater feed will do for you is going to feed your internal part rinse gun to rinse your parts off inside of the machine after blasting. It's also going to feed the freshwater window rinse bar to clean the window while you're blasting as well. And this pretty much wraps up the features of the machine. Um, at this point, after you've connected everything as a new user, hooked up your power, hooked up your air, filled your machine with approximately 20 gallons of water and 20 pounds of abrasive, um, you will be ready to start using your new VH800P machine from Vapor Honing Technologies. If you guys have any questions, please give us a call, shoot us an email, and we'll be glad to help you out.